Crisis ignites evolution. And why is this important? Because the crisis that we're facing, the crises that we're facing today, can only be resolved by changing the way we live on this planet, which means we are being forced into creating another way of life, another way of humans to behave uh, toward each other and toward this planet. And while we are facing this extinction phenomena and the loss of so-called civilization, we must recognize this as well, that in the history of Western civilization, yes, civilization has collapsed, but civilization has been rebuilt many times over and over again. So when we review Western civilization's history, we see this is not the first time a civilization has faced crises that has caused it to change its belief systems. So as we look back over time, for example, I can tell you the civilizations that have come and gone before today's current civilization. Civilization was referred to as animism. And what that meant was this. These were people, the indigenous people who lived on the planet. And how they treated the planet was really interesting because they treated the planet as both a spiritual and a physical entity and learned to live in harmony with both. But that civilization ended when a new civilization called polytheism came in. And polytheism brought us the Greeks, the Egyptians, and the Romans. And polytheism itself is a civilization. Yes, the Roman civilization collapsed. And what happened in its place is civilization didn't end, just a new civilization was created. And that was the civilization that was referred to as Judeo-Christian monotheism. This is when the church was running civilization. And yet, even that civilization crashed. And that was in about 1860 when Charles Darwin entered the scene. That was when the church's control of civilization gave way to science controlling civilization. And you say, well, what is all these controls related to? Why does one end and why does another one begin? Well, the answer is very basically this, that the civilizations that we're talking about are all based on how they dealt with the two realms of the universe. The two realms of the universe? Yes, there's the physical material realm in which you're living right now, but there's also an invisible uh, realm, an energy realm, a spiritual realm that is also present. And this has been known by the ancients. So from the beginning of time of human civilization, this population had to deal with the nature of two realms of life, the invisible spiritual realm and the material realm. The story I'm going to unfold for you really reveals how the belief in spirituality or the belief in what we call materiality changes over time. And when these beliefs change, so does civilization change along with it. So the civilization that we're in is coming to an end. But don't worry, because we're also creating the new civilization at this moment. And you are the participants in that project. As cultural creatives, I really want to thank you because you are the people that are going to lead us from today's crisis into the world that we can thrive in tomorrow. Hat dir dieses Video gefallen? Gib uns ein Zeichen und lasse einen Daumen nach oben da. Bist du interessiert an weiteren solchen kostenlosen Videos? Dann abonniere unbedingt unseren Kanal und drücke die Benachrichtigungsglocke, denn nur so stellst du sicher, dass du kein weiteres Video verpasst. Danke dir und bis zum nächsten Video.